Track is clear for Daniel Matthews. Got into the power band late, it's gonna cost her some time. All right, she did stop the clock, eight, nine, or five, nine, eight, nine, five, nine, or for Danielle Matthews. Angie Craig to run next from Enfield, New Hampshire, Kawasaki powered, got a strong lead for first place, big separation between first and second. Second is held currently by Daniel Matthew. Got a hold on the track. Seventh year of consecutive running this track open in 1946. It's been raced on ever since. Yeah. about the Quaybog Riders, you can visit us on our website at www.quaybogridersmc.com. Diane Matthew to run next, running to Harley Davidson. Nice looking bike. You can put a hop-up kit in your 500, turn it into a 540, and that makes it eligible to race against the 750s or more later an Agile. So there was a disadvantage to the 750 riders to clear the loophole. The 500 class became the 600 class. So the hop-up people with the 500 turning the 540 still compete with the 500s. Therefore, the 600 class, that loophole was changed a few years ago. John Mumford will run first from uh, Hampton, Mass, running a fuel. running for points this season, just uh, solely for the sake of competition. Seven six two six on the Buell. 
John Lumper. Joe Lumber on a run next. Been a competitor here for uh, many, many years from East Long Meadow, Mass, running a Yamaha. I don't know if he's still running the uh, Boltaco in uh, the other class later on coming up, but we'll find out. Eight six two one for Joel Lumbra, Walter Scott, new competitor from East Lyme, Connecticut, also running uh, one of the uh, new Yamaha four cycles. Tom LaPray Jr. from Ware, Mass, also running the new, the new Yamahas. The uh, two cycles aren't going to be produced anymore, thanks to the APA. No two cycle anything, lawnmowers, outboard motors, motorcycles. So this is the wave of the future. Track is clear. Eight seven two one eight seven two one. All right, that completes round one of the six hundred class. Going to move into the one twenty five. Their first heat of the day. This is round eleven for District One AMA racing. The tour will end here October twelfth. For the uh, final points wrap up, will take place at this venue. Something you want to keep in mind. You can pick up a schedule. Down at the announcing booth or visit us at our website at www.quaybogwritersmc.com or our email address is info, the at symbol, quaybogwritersmc.com. Nicholas Logisley on a track, new competitor for Munson Mass, Suzuki Power. Gets caught in the graveyard. Footage report will be required from the top, please. Two hundred eighty-five feet. Nicholas Legliski's first run. Ryer Osterman from New Ipswich, New Hampshire, to run next. Kawasaki Power. Ryan Osterman currently in second place after round 10, separated by only six points. Ryan Thibault was in the lead coming into today's round 11. Track is clear.
Yeah, eight three seven seven eight three seven seven. First competitor to get a time in the one twenty five class. Robert Smith to run next from Northwood, New Hampshire. Suzuki Power. Robert is a nine points competitor this year. Need Robert Smith on the line. Come on, let's keep it going. All right, Robert Smith, I guess, is scratched. Nicholas Royce to run next. New competitor from Palmer, Mass. Kawasaki Power. Track is clear for Nicholas Royce. This is normally a one gear hill. Very few competitors switch gears on the hill. He tried it, it was a mistake, and it cost him the life. But he's a new competitor, and you got to start somewhere. All right, now we're going to run Robert Smith after the hold has been lifted from Northwood, New Hampshire, Suzuki Powered. Trying to let the clutch out gently, lost the power band at the 50 foot mark, just cannot recuperate. The start is everything. You don't want excess fuel in that cylinder. You're going to bog down. You want a nice clean run. You want to slowly push the clutch out at a high RPM, and if you do that, that's what's going to prevent that from happening. That is a nightmare. Molly Carbon to run next from Bellingham, Mass. Kawasaki powered. Track is clear for Molly Carbon.
look good from here, 9-9 nine, nine or 7-5, 9 or 9-7-5. Nine, for Molly Coburn, C. David Bean to run next from East Hampton, Mass. Running a Honda. And he is a non-points contender for this year. Okay, that's what we wanted to know. All right, 10 9 or 5 3, 10 9 5 3 for C. David Bean. David Sear to run next from Bristol, Connecticut, Yamaha Power. Not having a good day. Got to get the gearing right. Two hundred and thirty four feet for that attempt. They got to make a major change to that. Wesley Crawford from White River Junction, Vermont. Two run next. Track is clear. Finished overall in New England, third for the 2002 season. Coming into today's competition after round 10, also in third place. Very consistent running for him. But there's a big separation of 81 points for second place uh, versus 64, so it's going to be an awful lot of makeup to make here. Ryan Osterman with 81 points. Ryan Tebow, who has not run yet, has the lead by six points. the graveyard, 70 degree gradient up there, very steep track and very loose. <laughs> 266 feet for that run. Amy Carbon to run next. make the first he will probably be back with a second that's what we were told this is cj bean all right amy he's talking about amy then okay cj beans are run next from east hampton mass honda power currently in the seventh position overall for the 2003 season Power man regained it around the 50 foot mark. Through the chicane, trying to power down and get the light. Yes, it was accomplished. 10, 9, or 9, 1, 10, 9, 9, or 1. King of the Hill to run next, Ryan Tebow. Always a fierce competitor year after year. Currently in number one position after round 10. It's no surprise we have a hold on the track. We 
need hill workers. We need hill workers desperately. Third time we've said it, the crowd up there hasn't gotten any bigger. We're very short staffed today. We're running on a skeleton crew. If anyone can donate some time on the hill, it would be greatly appreciated. Track is clear for Ryan Thibault. Seven, seven, five, two, seven. Fastest time of the day so far in round one of the 125s. That's why he's king of the hill. <laughs> Alan Sear to run next from Bristol, Connecticut, Yamaha powered. is not even in the ballpark on that run. You gotta go back and reconfigure it. It's very important, otherwise that's what you get. Made it through the chicane. Footage will prevail. Sixty-two feet. Final competitor in round one of the 125s, Andrew Rodriguez from Triverton, uh, Rhode Island Honda powered. Currently in fourth place after round ten. Track is clear. Makes the light, 8516, 8516 for Alan Rodriguez. All right, that completes round one of the 125. Ryan Thibault holding the lead after round one. We'll see if it continues later on this afternoon. Jim O'Connell, 
All right, we got the PA back. Zero three seven nine zero three seven. Fastest time so far in round one. Randy Joyce to run next from Run Pam Mass. Kawasaki powered. We have a hold on the track. Randy is a non points contender this season, just running race by race. Track is clear for Randy, uh, Randy Joyce. Nine zero eight one nine zero eight one throws it over the top. That's good enough for second so far. A lot of racing though. We got another round coming up later on this afternoon. Frank King on the line from Springfield, Mass. Kawasaki powered. Drag is clear for Frank King. All right, we have a hold on the race. We have a hold on the race. We got one person on the hill that's keeping footage for us up here. We don't have any people. NEHA said you would help us. Somebody get up there, like three or four people. We cannot run this race safely without hill workers. All right, finish the class, and we gotta wait and see what happens. No, you can't run this way. Track is clear. Frank gets there at almost a 10 flat, 10 0 9 or 5, 10 0 9 5 for Frank King. David Roost down the line next from Palmer Mass, Kawasaki powered.
Gets there anyway, 10-5, 10 9 4 10 5, 9, 4 Marcel Matthew to run next from Manchester, Connecticut. Got a different bike this year. No, he doesn't have a different bike this year. That's for the other class. Currently in fifth place overall from uh, round 10 from Keenan. We have a hold on the track. it up there, 8886, 8886. That puts him in the lead, moves Jimmy O'Connell back to second place for round one. Followed by Randy Joyce in third, Henry Farnsworth in fourth place contention so far. Bill D'Onofrio from Vernon, Connecticut to run next, then we will move on to the 250 class for their first run of the day. Track is clear for Billy D'Onofrio. Niner 422, Niner 422 for Billy D'Onofrio. Moving on to round one of the 250 class. This is race number 11. Next weekend, Tyler Hill, Pennsylvania. John Mumford to run first from Weir Mass, running a Honda. No, it's a Yamaha. It says Honda on the sheet. It is a Yamaha. Ooh, moving nicely, bounces over the chicane. 7-6, for John Mumford. Excellent run for him, and he is not competing for points. Huh. That's a shame. Ron Garno to run next from Burning, Connecticut, KTM powered.
Tom DeSantis to run next for a Millberry Mass Honda Power. Track is clear. Tom and DeSantis, Ben Seguin to run next, new competitor, new competitor this year running a Honda. We have a hold on the track. Next, uh, next and final motorcycle championship to take place here on October 12th. That will be for the final points wrap up. And on October 19th, our fourth and final 4x4 four four truck championship, which will conclude the 2003 season. Track is clear. Jack Baldi on the line. Track is clear. Working the chicane through and up. Seven three two five seven three two five. Currently in first place so far. More a lot more competitors though. We have another round coming up later on this afternoon. Thomas Harvey from Worcester, Mass. Kawasaki powered. Track is clear. Alston Video Productions is pleased to announce that they're videotaping today's event. They'll be util utilizing two broadcast cameras. The shoot will be a live mix capturing all of the action. To order your copy, fill out the forms found outside the clubhouse and bring it to the editing room. Allison Video Productions from Stafford, Connecticut. I'll say that again in case you didn't hear it. Al Allison Video Productions is pleased to announce they're videotaping today's event utilizing two broadcast cameras. The shoot will be a live mix capturing all of the action. To order your copy, fill out the forms found outside the clubhouse and bring it to the editing room. That's Allison Video Productions from Stafford, Connecticut. Two hundred and eighty-eight feet for Thomas Harney, Dan Bergeron on the run from Charlton Mass. Got bit in the graveyard, lost some momentum, about two-thirds off the tough part. He had it nailed. That's a shame. 295 feet, he won't be happy with that. He'll make it up in the second round. This is not accumulative times. The two times are not added together. It's the best of the two. The prevailing one stays in, the lowest score gets thrown out, so you do have a chance to make it up. That's how the scoring works here. Walt Scott on the line from East Lime, Connecticut, new competitor this year, Yamaha powered.
297 B for that run. Normally when you see a competitor race here, what is called almost or to be perfect gear, and you want that front tire to come off the ground just about an inch and you want to hold it that way. That's how you know you're dead on. And that bike up there was geared quite closely. It just needs more trick out on the horsepower, but the sprocket setup is perfect. Gary Lindquist to run next from Lagrange, Maine, Honda Powered. Struggling but made it. I don't know if he was on the bike when he crossed the line. We'll get a report from the top. If so, it's a 10763. Okay, the time is no good. He was not on the motorcycle, so footage will prevail at 299 feet. Joe Lindquist to run next from Bear Mass, Honda Powered. next from Charlton Mass. He's got his cylinder head nice and cleaned out. You don't want any excessive fuel in there. You lose the power band and that's what you don't want. Track is clear. Not enough spin on the rear. That will cost you the light. 287 feet for that run. Wesley Crawford to run next from Wake River Junction in Vermont. We have a hold on the track. Got through the chicane, slapped hard into the loose stuff about a uh, third away up of the graveyard. It almost stopped them cold. You gotta, gotta hit it just right. You want the rear tire down first, then the front. Michael Harrison to run next from Hampton Falls, New Hampshire, Kawasaki Power. Michael is a non-points contender this year. We have a hold on the track. If there is a basket of cheer raffle going on this afternoon, could someone please inform me of that? If I don't hear from you, then I'm assuming there isn't. Track is clear for Michael Harrison. KX Kawasaki. He 
Keep the light, 825585 from Michael Harrison. Paul Callahan to give it a shot next from Boxboro, Mass, Yamaha Power. Track is clear for Paul Callahan. Nice tuck and roll up and over, 8819 or 8819. Zachary Bouquet to run next from Charlton, Mass. Kawasaki powered. Track is clear. Track is clear for Todd Pinsonal. Can't recuperate from that. 276 feet for uh, Todd's first attempt today. Craig Cobell uh, to run next from Millbury Mass, Kawasaki Power. Craig is uh, currently tied in 10th place after round 10th along with uh, Chad Kola. Track is clear. No problem with the transition, nine or one eight five nine one eight five. Rogerio to run next from Townley, Connecticut, Yamaha powered. Currently tied in for first place along with Dan Bergeron after round 10. They got 80 points apiece. There will be a change today. We'll find out what it is when round two appears with the 250 class later on in today's uh, second half of our program. This is race 11 of District 1, New England. Tyler Hill, Pennsylvania, next Sunday.
He's over the top. 6-5, 6-0. 6-5, 6-0. Best runner of the heat so far. From Craig uh, Lewis Ruggiero. Jake Garrison to run next. We are into the sixes. Six five six zero. That's the new standard that's been set in the 250 class. We are still currently in round one. Jake Garrison to run next from Chaplin, Connecticut. Kawasaki Power. Gets them there, 7512, 7512. That currently puts him in second place. John Mumper now moves to third, but this is just round one. We don't know until we get there. Chad Cola from Springfield, Master Run next, Yamaha Powered. Currently tied in 10th position overall after uh, round 10 with Craig Cobell. side, 8252, 8252, Rashad Cola. Josh Appalt, final competitor from Oakham, Mass, running a Honda, final competitor for round one in the 250 class, and we're going to advance to the 450. Formerly the 370 class, formerly the 400 class, now called the 450 class after this run. Okay, the time is good, 10 0 6, 5. That completes round one in the 250 class. Louis Ruggiero in first place going into round two later on this afternoon. Moving into the 450s. Used to be formerly the 370 class about 15 years ago, later uh, advanced to the 400 class, and now the 450s. And the reason for that is because the displacements of these bikes simply change throughout the years. So the numbers change along with it to uh, keep people in their respective classes. Billy D'Onofrio on the line first from Vernon, Connecticut. KTM Power track is clear. Currently in third place in points coming off to round 10. Makes the top 7-9 or 2-9, 7-9-2-9er for Billy D'Onofrio. Vitar Matthew, the V-man coming up from Talon, Connecticut, Yamaha Power. Currently in first place in the points, followed by Donald Pinsano. First and second points after round 10 is only separated by seven. The Yamaha two cycle twin tricked out the carburetor, will not give away his secrets. Was always a good competitor just for the first day he started racing. Over 
the top, 7'5", 7'3", 7'5", 7'3", for VHR Matthews. First attempt in the 450 class. Joe Lumbra running the Spanish Bull Taco, does very well with it. From East Long Meadow, Mass. Bull Taco, Persang. The old bull cooking nicely, 8101, 8101. Joe Lumbra, C. David Bean to run next from East Hampton, Mass, Honda Power. Currently in sixth place after uh, the last event. Track is clear. Enough to get him there, 8404. When you're lining up at the line, do not cross the tiny light in the front. Okay? Sometimes you don't have it recorded yet. Not even listening to me. Got other things on his mind, I guess. All right, from Middletown, Rhode Island, Timothy Teeves. Track is clear. Seven two two. Nicholas Cola on the line. Springfield Mass. Track is clear. Currently in seventh place after round ten. Eight three six six eight three six six. Tom Lepre Jr. Wear mask, Yamaha powered. To run next, track is clear. The graveyard swallowed them up. Seventy-nine feet for that ride. 
Frank King to run next from Springfield, Mass. We're in a Can-Am. Currently in fourth place after round 10. Big distance, though, between three and four, 51, 37, respectively. Diane Matthew in fifth place, only trailing by two points. She could move up. Jeff DeVoe to run next. New member this year, just starting out from Oxford, Mass. Running a Yamaha. Five three nine zero five three. Donald Pinsano from Holyoke, Mass. to run next. Currently in second place, Vietar's got the lead on him of only seven points after round ten. That could change today. It's very possible. Track is clear for Donald Pinsano. Six is seven one one four seven one one four for Donald Pinsano. That is currently good enough for first place so far. Diane Matthew from Manchester, Connecticut, KTM power to run next. Currently in fifth place after round ten up in Canaan. Track is clear. There's uh, only two points separating from fourth and fifth place as far as points go between Frank King and Diane Matthew. This could change today.
8296. All right, one more competitor in round one of the 450s before we move on to the 600 class. Glenn Charette from Orange Mass, running a Husqvarna. Glenn is not a points contender, just here to run. Track is clear for Glenn Charette. Glenn uh, will not be able to uh, run his first run. He'll have to wait for round two. Moving into the 600 class, the earlier class was the 600 four-stroke class. This is the other 600 class. John Mumford to run first from Weir Mass. Honda Power. Track is clear. Round one, 600s, formerly the 500 class, for reasons described earlier. Oh, nice solid ride, 6-4, Niner 5, 6-4, 9-5. Awesome run for John Mumper. Tyler Charbonneau from Lebanon, New Hampshire, to compete next, running in Kawasaki. Tyler Charbonneau. Good. 
282 feet for that attempt. Ryan Osterman on the line from New Ipswich in New York, uh, New Hampshire, sorry, Kawasaki Power. Six-niner, one, one, six, nine, six, one for Ryan Osterman. Jason Connolly on the line of Ludlow, Mass. We're in a Honda. Currently in seventh place after round 10. It's a big spread, though, between six and seven by 20 points. So there will not be any changes in that respect today. Track is clear for Jason Connolly. <laughs> Nicely done, seven one, nine or two, seven one, nine two. All right, Joe DiCaro to run next from Ludlow Mass, Honda Power, track is clear. Currently in sixth place overall after round 10 in Canaan, the last event. Tyler Hill, Pennsylvania next Sunday. The tour continues for the 2003 season.
Up and over, 6'8", 6'7", 6'8", 6'7", for Jack Baldini. All right, we're going to go back and get the final competitor from the last class. This was the guy that flooded his motorcycle earlier, Glenn Charette. We are back in the 450 class for this one heat from Orange Mass. Chris Barna got it going. He's going to make his run, and we'll get back to what we were doing. Eight seven one five, eight seven one five for Glenn Charette. That is the end of round one in the 450s. Going back now to the 600 class. Angie Craig to run next in the 600 class from Plainfield, New Hampshire. We're running a Kawasaki. of the graveyard didn't make the transition right after the chicane area and that's the result but she'll be back 280 for that 280 feet joe lindquist to run next after the hold has been lifted from berry mass honda power Currently in 10th place overall after round 10. Timothy Caves to run next from Middletown, Rhode Island. That bike is in its stock form. Two hundred and ninety nine feet for that effort. Steve Scott to run next when the hold is lifted from East Lyme, Connecticut. Steve is a non points contender this year. We are currently in our 57th year of consecutive running. This hill has been cleared and started racing here in 1946 and has done so every consecutive year after that. So it's a very old track. The track is clear. Seven nine or two zero seven nine two zero. 
Tom LaFrey Jr. from Ware, Mass. Yamaha Howard. Track is clear. We have a 50 50 raffle going on out there. I'm sure so you know how this works. You buy a ticket for a dollar. If, if you have the winning ticket and we call your number later on today, you will go home with half the first money collected. The other 50% goes to benefit the New England Hill Climbers Association. They might even have like six for five dollars today. I don't know. Someone's going around with those. Somebody has to win, and it might as well be you. Nine or two eight seven for that run. Todd Pinsono from West Warren, Mass. How is Becky Howard? Currently in fourth place after uh, round ten. Between three and four is only separated by one point. Third place, uh, James Hunter has it, so there could be a change there. And in second place, only by one point. You got Ryan Tebow with 53, uh, Hunter with 52, Pinsonol with 51, Louis Ruggiero has a seven point lead after round 10. So uh, a lot of things can happen in this class today. and makes a 7 0 in 4. Almost like a ballet. Okay, Alton Video Productions is pleased to announce that they are videotaping today's event. They are utilizing the two broadcast cameras. The shoot will be of a live mix capturing all of the action. To order your copy, fill out the forms found outside the clubhouse and bring them to the editing room. That's Allison Video Productions from Stafford, Connecticut. Track is clear for Ryan Thibault. He's in second place after round 10. Luis Ruggiero holds the lead with seven points. That could change today. First place position plays off 10 points. Second place, nine. Third place, eight, et cetera, et cetera, down to 10th place, which will give one accumulated point. That may happen today. Track is clear. next from Wales Mass running a Honda. 
currently eighth place overall from round 10, finished sixth for the 2002 season for District 1 New England AMA Racing. Track is clear. Ninety-two feet for that run. James Hunter to run next after the hold is lifted from Greenfield Mass for a Honda. Currently in third, uh, third position overall. Ryan Tebow in second place, separated by one point. So. Ton of air up there. 
Okay, moving into round one for the 750s. We've got three competitors that are competing for points here. Two are tied for first place, and uh, which means there isn't any second place. So uh, Claude Renault is in third place. We have a hold on the track. Got to get some of the uh, rocks out of the way. Guy Bacon from Wales Bash, Kawasaki Power, first contender in the 750s. Neck and neck with Vernon Lloyd III, each tied at 72 points so far in uh, the 2003 series. That will change today. Track is clear. Right. Up and over seven seven nine or six seven seven nine six. Evan Clough to run next from Laconia, New Hampshire, Kawasaki. Track is clear for Evan Club.
951-9151. I think you'd do better if you put a cut tire on it instead of running a stock tire and get more grab, but I guess that's not his strategy. Vernon Lloyd the third, the first Kawasaki triple of the day, fastest production cycle made during its time. And when they're tricked out, they go quite nicely. Vernon Lloyd the third tied with Guy Bacon for points 72 each. That will also change today. Track is clear. Seven six four eight seven six four eight for Vernon Lloyd the third. Fastest time so far in round one. Look who showed up, Stepan Pancheco used to race uh, here, and we haven't seen him in a few years, did the whole circuit. And has come back with a triumph. From Southington, Connecticut, Stepan Pancheco, triumph power first Brit of the day, a track is clear. Anyway, nine or five, three, six, nine, five, three, six for Stepan Panechko. Might be the only triumph here today. I don't know. We're going to wait until we see the open class. John Mushhorn to run next from East Hartford. He is a QRMC member competing here today. Running a Yamaha Twin 650. Nine or eight two.
place overall from Underhill, Vermont. Thirty-two feet for that effort. All right, Vernon Lloyd, the third, leading the 750 competition after round one. We are going to advance to the round one of the open class. Ron Vin to run first. From Brimfield, Mass., Harley Davidson. This motorcycle has a special flat track or frame in it for competition use. Round one of the open class track is clear for Ron Avin. Two two for Ron Vin, having a good day. Ron Garno to run next from Vernon, Connecticut. Honda powered. Oh, got it there anyway. Eight one uh, four one. Eight one four one for Ron Garno. James Balfour on the line, number two in points contention after round after round ten. between Jason Connolly, who has a lead of 79 points, uh, James Balfour in second with 65. That could change today also because first place uh, pays 10 points, so keep an eye on that. James Balfour, Grantham, New Hampshire, Suzuki Power, track is clear. the graveyard, a little more fine tuning to be done on that machine. He's not happy.
All right, 276 feet for that attempt. When the hold is lifted, Guy Bacon from Wales Mass to run next, running the Yamaha. Seven eight one nine or seven eight one nine for Guy Bacon. We are currently in round one of the open class. From Uncasville, we're going to get Harley Davidson powered Chris uh, Clifford Crump to run next. Currently in sixth place overall. Track is clear. One two for Clifford Crump's first attempt in the open class. Jason Connolly to run next. First in points after round 10, separated by James Balfour by nine points. 79 for Jason, 65 so far for James. Track is clear. Up the top, seven three one zero seven three one zero. Fastest time in the heat so far. Richard Cummings, the third to run next from Springfield, Mass. Harley Davidson power. We got a lot of Harleys in this class today. Track is clear.
from Springfield, Mass., Richard Cummings, Jr., Harley Davidson. Track is clear. Seven three four eight seven three four eight. From Stafford Springs, Connecticut, Richard Camarella. New competitor here. Track is clear for Richard Camarella. Niner seven six one nine seven six one. Seven six one six for Joel Lumbra. Eric Newhouse from Long Meadow, Mass. Harley Davidson. Track is clear.
Tony D'Onofrio from Vernon, Connecticut, to run next, uh, number three overall for the 2002 season. He is uh, not running for points this year. Next from Three Rivers, Mass, running a Honda. This is the opener for the over 40 class. Now we're going to go back for round two with the 80cc junior class. the 50-50 uh, raffle going on if uh, you don't know how that works. I'll explain it again. If you buy a ticket for a dollar and if you have the winning ticket and we announce it later on this afternoon, you will go home with half the purse money collected. The other half goes to benefit the uh, New England Hill Climbers Association. There's a lot of people here and the till has been known to get a pretty big, so it costs you a dollar to get in the game. I think it's, it might even be uh, six tickets for five dollars. Don't hold me to it, but that's how it usually works. And join in on the raffle. from Tyler, Connecticut, Yamaha Power, the V-Man to run next. Track is clear. Got a Yamaha twin here. That bike is geared perfectly. 
seven seven three seven front end comes up just a little bit you hold it there that's how you can tell that's exactly what that looked like Richard Cummings Jr. from Springfield Mass Running a Honda from Springfield, Mass. Richard Cummings, Jr. Track is clear. Eight four six seven eight four six seven. Yeah. Henry Barnesworth on the line from Canaan, New Hampshire. over the berm, lost the chain. He's jammed between the uh, swing arm and the sprocket. Motor's okay, though. up there. Donald Pinsono to run next from Holyoke, Mass. The Yamaha powered. Currently second in point standings from round 10. James Hunter in the lead by two points, followed by Donald. 68 and 66 respectively. Track is clear. Through the chicane nicely, seven one one nine or seven one one nine. 
fastest time so far. Craig Cobell will run next for Millbury Mass, Kawasaki powered. Craig is currently in fifth place overall after round 10. Track is clear. Nice, very nicely. Niner uh, 203, 9203. Not getting enough speed for some reason. James Hunter to run next from Greenfield, Mass. Honda powered. We have a hold on the track. James Hunter is currently in first place after round 10, 68 points. Donald Pinson on 66. So there will be a change here today. We will find that out after the second heat. Seven six four seven. Seven six four seven for that run. All right, see now if it counted that way, Don Pinsonal got him on this heat. But uh, we can't give you the story until after the second round. Eric Newhouse from Long Meadow Mass, Harley Davidson Power, track is clear. Get your uh, tickets ready for the uh, for the 50-50 uh, raffle. We did select a number, and we'll give that to you momentarily. If you do have the winning number, bring it to the beer booth. Bring your ticket to the beer booth so they can uh, match it up. If you don't have the winning ticket, don't throw it away because a lot of people don't pay attention, and very often we have to redraw another number. Four, two, three. All right, the number we're going to give you isn't for the 50-50. I was just told those are still on sale. We got the wrong information on that. But anyway, this will be for the basket of cheer raffle. If you have the winning number, bring it to where you purchased the ticket or the beer booth. Go to the beer booth with it to claim your prize. And like I said, if, we, if your number isn't called, a lot of people don't pay attention. And we do commonly redraw the number. So. We'll give you that in a moment. It is for the basket of cheer raffle. The 50-50 tickets are still being sold. Marcel Matthew on the line from Manchester, Connecticut. Kawasaki powered. Track is clear. Still in round one of the over 40 class. Up and over, 8591-8591 for Marcel Matthew. Michael Nardone from Rockville, Connecticut. Okay, we don't know where Michael Nardone is. Francis Case to run next from Stores. Running out Husqvarna. 
It's an old 76 360. I know that because I used to own that motorcycle. Track is clear. Throws it over the top, 8-3-1-6, 8 for Francis Cates. up to the top from Underhill, Vermont. All right, we got a time on that, but he wasn't on the motorcycle, so we got to get a footage report from the top of the hill, please. Two hundred and ninety feet to be exact. All right, we're gonna move into round two for everybody that's the fifty C C I'm sorry, the fifty C C class. We completed both rounds earlier. So we're gonna move into round two of the eighty C C junior class. Derek Hutchings to ride first from Vernon, Connecticut. Got a time on his first try, 11 0 er Track is clear. Eight nine one nine is the time to beat here. Currently held by Vinny Nuzzolini. The graveyard swallows them up. The track is getting looser. It was uh, wet earlier when we first began. The sun dried it out. So that will be a factor on the second run. All right, 284 feet for that run. Joseph, Joseph LaRose from Palmer, Mass. Basket of cheer number, here we go. The basket of cheer number, if you have it, bring it to the beer booth. The number is 674075. Once again, 674075. And Joe loses a chain. And the seat. All right, if you don't have the number, don't throw your ticket away. A lot of people don't claim these, and more often than not, there's always a second calling. Not always, but in many cases. So the number is 674075. We'll wait for a reply if there is a winner. If not, we'll redraw. 
Next event on the tour takes place at Tyler Hill, Pennsylvania next Sunday. Followed by Skohegan, Maine on September 21st. September 28th, the final event in Canaan, New Hampshire. And then the points wrap up for all of New England District 1 AMA racing. The tour ends here on October 12th. That'll be the points decision for the 2003 season. And after that, there will be one more event here, our fourth and final 4x4 championship up and over the top truck competition on October 19th. If you haven't got a schedule, you can pick one up at the Beer Wagon, or it is posted on our website at www.quaybograinersmc.com. Stephen Markowski on the line from Palmer, Mass. Kawasaki powered, made footage, but did not get the light on the first run. That's what he's looking for now. Track is clear. An 8 9, a 1 8 or better, it's going to take to move into first place so far. Kenny Nozalili nailed it on the first attempt. Chandel Bacon from Holland Mass, Yamaha Power. She failed to get the late on the first attempt. 297 feet was for her first ever. Track is clear for Chandel Bacon. of the berm there, couldn't make the recovery. All right, so the 297 will be her first best effort of the day. <laughs> Henry Brown on the line from Hamden, Mass. Yamaha powered. Track is clear. Next, from Ludlow, Mass, Honda Powered, came in with a 9105 for his first attempt. Got to get into the uh, mid to high eights, break that 8919er. Ryan Connolly finished first in New England last year, currently in second place, only separated by two points with James Green. prevails. That was for his first heat footage for the second. 271 to be exact. <laughs> Dean Farnsworth to run next from Plainville, New Hampshire. Kawasaki Power came in with a 10-5-7-3 for his first attempt. Finished fourth overall for the season last year for the 2002 season. He's currently in fourth right now. 
as uh, we are in round 11. Shrag is clear. Like I said, the track is a lot looser than it was on the first run because it was damp and uh, had some compacted dirt. So for the second heat, it's a different story. Last call for the basket of cheer raffle. If you have the number, go to the beer booth to claim your prize with a ticket 674075. See, no one's claiming the number, so we may have a redraw. That's why I asked you to hang on to your tickets. It happens a lot. Once again, 674075, basket of cheer, raffle ticket. Ethan Puglio surrendered from Salem, Connecticut, Kawasaki powered. He didn't have a terrible start on the last run. Currently in 10th overall from round 10 in Cannes, New Hampshire. Already stalled, but he didn't break the light, so he is entitled to a restart. If you, if, you, if you break the beam, that's a different story, but he did not. So, Okay, slipped out of gear. <laughs> William Brown the run next. He's from uh, Hamden, Mass. Running the Yamaha failed to make the light on the first attempt track. Track is clear. They got 55 feet for that attempt. Shayna Lindquist to run next. From Barry Mass, Honda Power, 292 feet for her first attempt. Track is clear. We're going to redraw the number. Someone's not paying attention out there, or they left. One of the two.
track is definitely, the complexion of the track is definitely much different than it was earlier. Much looser, drier. All right, so for her attempt for uh, 292 minutes, she'll stay with. He's up next from uh, Denton, Massachusetts. Ha Kawasaki Power, 278 feet for the first attempt. Track is clear. I'm sorry, 56 feet for the first attempt. New basket of cheer number is this, 6740296740296. 6740296. If you have that number, go to the beer wagon to claim your prize. Once again, 6740296. Nick Butler on the line. From Denham, Mass. 278 feet for his first attempt track is clear. We are in round two of the ADCC junior class. came right up on him to the point he did break the light unfortunately.
No, we're both very busy, so we're going to try. Don't know what to tell you. ACC senior class, final round, Kyle Miranda from Wales, Mass. Kawasaki Power, 283 feet for the first run. The time to beat is in the nines in this class, 9737. Chris Chartier Jr. so far in first place. Track is clear. Next 
Next from Wales, Mass Kawasaki Power, 292 feet for her first attempt. Track is clear. Thank you. 
255 feet in that run. Joe, Joe Courier from Burning Connecticut will run next. He's currently in second place with 66 points. As of the last competition, he's trailing 10 points from Chris Chartier. If he beats Chris Chartier today, he will be tied with first place. Chris Chartier will still stay in first place regardless.
Kyle Fogarty from South Hadley, Mass. Powers tracking 235 feet for his first attempt track is clear. Gonna take a 7 7 8 3 or better, otherwise, the wind will go to Douglas Schultz today, regardless of what he does in the second heat.
Union Techno turned in a 6.897 on that run. Scott Janelle's on the line next. Brian Butler is next on the line. Turn in a time of 7.019 last night. Seven point six one zero for James Burke. We have the winning ticket for the fifty fifty raffle. There's a prize of two hundred twenty dollars for the winner for the holder of the ticket number six three eight zero zero zero. That's a fifty fifty raffle. Number six three eight. Zero, zero, zero. Claim it here at the announcer booth.
Randy Berry. Change the first ride.
One five five. Brings up Tom McRae Jr. from Wear Mass. Turned in eight point seven two one first time. I'm a 8.592 for a second run. First place in the uh, 600 four strokes goes to John Mumper with a 7.465. Second is to Joel Lumbra, and third is Tom LaPray Jr.
Nick Leglesi from Munson, Mass. On a Suzuki, run 285 feet on his first run. Get the light. She gets 
the footage of 296, Molly Kerbin. Next up is David Bone. Bane. He stamped a mask on a Honda. Uh, number eight, David Sears on the line now from Bristol. 234 feet on his first run. Wesley Crawford's on the line. Did uh, 266 feet on his first run. Amy Carvin's on the line. This is her first run. She's on a Kawasaki.
On the line is Ryan Tebow. He is the current leader at 7.527. And he has first place locked up. Just going to see if he can better that time. Second in the 125s, and Wesley Crawford and takes on third. We're in the 200 division, and it's Henry Farnsworth on the line from Canaan, New Hampshire, on a Kawasaki. 9.368 on his first run. Six for him. The 
one right before this? Yeah. Jimmy O'Connell from Munson here on a Kawasaki in a 9.037 first run. Frank King's on the line from Springfield. Turn in a 10.095.
9.864 for Frank King. David Rest is on the line from Palmer, Mass. 10.594 to first rest. Ten point three one three. Current leader of the division, Marcel Matthews, on the line with a turn in the time of eight point eight eight six, which is first. Okay. Excuse me, Billy D'Onofrio is on the line. Marcel is going last. Marcel Madden's on the line now.
Thank you. 